Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name's Defender, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time, uh, let's see. We went under the sea in Atlantica. We, uh, were welcomed to Halloween Town. And, yeah, that's basically it. Alright, so let's, uh, as for today, well, we're just gonna, we're gonna fight some more things, and we're gonna do some more good. Like we always do. I should note that, uh, b before, in between sessions, I did stop by Sid in order to sell off a lot of the gummy blocks and also buy a few upgrades. So, you might see that our power gauge on the gummy ship has increased a little bit. That's where it came from, but other than that, you didn't really miss much of anything. I bought some more consumable items. That's pretty much it. I figured, I figured you folks didn't need to see that, so I just did it. Anyway, today we're going to start off with going to this world. A, uh, seven-star world. The, the only one we haven't explored yet, so... It's a pretty good indication that that's where we're gonna need to go to progress the plot. But, of course, that means we start off with everyone's favorite... More gummy ship missions. Select world... Alright! So how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing absolutely wonderful. It's a, it's a beautiful Friday afternoon here. Uh, as I mentioned when I went on Twitter to attempt to promote this, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to stream quite as long as I would like to, but don't worry, I'm still here, as you can clearly see, because I'm live right now. Unless I'm not, because, you know, Twitch malfunctioned again. But currently doesn't look like it is, so... Eh. We're just gonna scoop up all of these gummies, because these enemies just pose absolutely no threat to us anymore. Except for these these big green ones. They, they do pose a threat. But the little ones, nah. They're, they're like, it's like popcorn. Just, you just pop them. So many prizes. I must admit, I do like the gummy ship flying music. I will, I will give the, these sequences one credit. I do like the music in them. It starts off okay when you're in the first couple, when you're in like the first sector. It gets really good in the second sector, and then the final one, it's not my favorite, but it's like the most foreboding, which is appropriate. Also, everything disappeared. It sure is. That's a... That's a pirate ship. It sure is. Uh-oh. Yo, again, with the whole not flying away from the dangerous thing. I mean, I know this thing is made out of, like, Play-Doh or something, but surely we can fly faster than that. It's thinking about loading. Still thinking about it. There we go. Welcome to Neverland. I didn't think you'd come, Sora. <gasps> Good to see you again. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Are they that important to you? More important than old friends? Instead of worrying about them, you should be asking about her. Kyrie! That's right. While you were off goofing around, I finally found her. Not so fast! No shenanigans aboard my vessel, boy. Riku, why are you siding with the Heartless? The Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. You're stupid! Sooner or later they'll swallow your heart! Not a chance. My heart's too strong. Riku... I've picked up a few other tricks as well. Like this, for instance. <sighs> Oh. You can go see your friends now. Ah! Let's get underway already. 
and keep Sora away from Kairi until we're ready to land. Hmm. That scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? Nothing. The hold is crawling with heartless. Let them keep an eye on the brats. But, Captain, you know who is also down... Shh! Did you hear that, Smee? Oh, that dreadful sound. No, Captain. Are you quite sure? Did I imagine it? Oh, my poor nerves. Okay, so if I don't know, I don't know if I'm imagining this, but did Riku's eye color change after he joined with the Heartless? I might just be imagining that. You don't say. Yeah, it was definitely Kyrie. I finally found her. All right. <laughs> yep. Then let's go up and talk to her. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, but first, how I did that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Nice little bit of slapstick there. I like slapstick. <clears throat> How you doing there? Looking for a way out? Who are you? I'm the answer to your prayers. <sighs> okay then. Fine. Have it your way. But you're stuck in here too, aren't you? Huh. Nope. I'm just waiting for someone. Who? Tinkerbell, what took you so long? Great job. So you found Wendy? Hold on. There was another girl there too? Are you crazy? There's no way I'm gonna leave Wendy there. Uh -huh. She must be pretty jealous. <laughs> Come on, Tink. Open up the door. <clears throat> hmm. I'm Peter Pan. I'm Sora. Okay. We're in this together, but only till we find Wendy. Well, alright. I guess some help is better than no help. Alright, uh... There's actually no Trinity markers in this world. So, or at least none that we can use right now. So we'll just get Peter Pan in here. Okay, so Neverland is probably one of my favorite worlds because, well, it's on a pirate ship and pirates are awesome. But second of all, it's also really, really short. No joke, uh, we'll probably finish this world, whole world within like 45 minutes maybe. I don't know. But Peter Pan is a very strong ally. He has both a lot of HP, a lot of powerful abilities, and some good magic. Let's see. Thankfully, he actually doesn't have anything that I wouldn't want him to equip. Although I am going to do the usual thing and swipe all of his ethers. You can keep the potions, though. Okay. I already forgot if I saved or not. I guess I did, but I'm going to save again anyway. Okay, party time. Alright, well, we've got immediately some new enemies that are already dead. Uh, while you're through, while you're going through the ship, you will be, uh, pursued by this kind of shadow version of Sora, who can fly around and all that stuff. You don't have to defeat it, but if you do, it'll give you a nice experience boost and some cool items. Let's see, our new enemies, if we can actually get some in, like, a site that matters. Huh? What am I locked onto? Oh, it's gone. Alright. Well, that was strange. No, there it is. Okay, hold on, let me just slowly climb this ladder. These are pirates. Pirates are like, uh, the bandits from Agrabah. However, while the bandits wielded their swords with deftness and finesse, the pirates just kind of stick to, you know recklessly swinging their swords around with a wild abandon. Yet somehow it works quite well for them. They deal way more damage, but thankfully they don't have any of the kind of fancy pants techniques that the bandits have. So they can't dramatically lunge at you from across the map. They can't fling their scimitars at you. They just hit you really, really hard. Which is also the same way that I play fighting games. I just like, 
I've always kind of gravitated towards, you know, the heavy characters in fighting games. It's like, I mean, I could use a combo, but then, you know, I'm just under the impression of the idea of just, if I hit them really, really hard, eventually they'll die. And it's worked for me so far. But yeah, we're going to get through this world pretty quick. Again, if the pirates don't, uh, don't keel haul us, which is quite possible because they're pretty tough. What are you doing? Dancing a little jig? That's okay, I got your mega potion. Oh yeah! Okay, so while we're in the freezer area here, that's another strange thing about uh, Neverland. They don't show the areas that you're in, which is mighty bizarre. I don't know why they don't do that, but they don't. But we're going to have to fight through a couple of waves. Actually, I don't know if we have to fight through a couple of waves. That's what my uh, guidebook says, but hey, you know, it's good experience. I'm not going to let it go. But yeah, if you're fighting a bunch of pirates and they're swarming you, you may want to consider using your stop magic. Forgot, I also think I equipped Sonic Blade. Yes, I did. So if we get into a pinch, uh, I'll use that. But yeah, for how short the world is, there's going to be a plenty of fighting, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm sure there's some other kind of pirate song I could sing right now, but, uh, you know, don't want don't to get in trouble. Man, Peter Pan's taking a lot of damage. I don't remember him taking a lot of damage. But then again, I haven't played on Expert in a few years, so... I could... I'm probably just remembering incorrectly. Ooh! Got a power gem! Alright, let's get out of the freezer section. Before we become a TV dinner. Drugs. Anyone can fly. You want to try? Oh, come on. That joke was so obvious. I had to go for it. Don't don't blame me. You would have made the same joke too. Uh, haven't you cooled off yet, Tink? Just a little bit of pixie dust. There. Now you can fly. <laughs> All the aeronautical grace of a dump truck. What? So Wendy's not one of the chosen ones? There are seven, supposedly. And Maleficent says she's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning, anyway? Who knows? As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The Heartless have devoured that girl's heart. I'll stake me other hand, it's lost forever. I will find it, no matter what. Uh, Captain? What? The prisoners have escaped. What's more, Peter Pan is with them. Blast that Peter Pan. All right, then. Bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Hop to it. What is it, Tink? Peter? Peter Pan? Wendy. Please, hurry! The pirates are coming! What? I'll be right up there! Just hold on! Wendy? Yes? Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, why, yes. But she seems to be asleep. She hasn't budged an inch. 
Kyrie? Kyrie! Right. Although I just want to know, what kind of superhuman vision does Sora have to see that hand twitch? I wish, I wish my eyesight was that good. Anyway, uh, let's see, we actually need to climb into one of these grates. So, it's a great grate, so let's go right up here. Wendy, are you in there? It looks like it's locked. Alright, we'll have to go around another way then. Okay, so, uh, in this room you actually will need to use a, tr a trinity marker, but the game was kind enough to put a save point right here. So we're just gonna tag Goofy in real quick, use the trinity ladder, pull down this ladder. I'm gonna quickly... No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay. I'm gonna bring Peter Pan back in. And we're gonna save. Alright. Let's head on up. Nope. Head up. Thank you. No, hold on. What do my items look like? Peter's already used all of those. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Alright, it's time to fight our literal incantation of darkness. This is Anti-Sora. Anti-Sora will fight using many of the same Keyblade attacks that we've been using to fight all of the Heartless. Thankfully, uh, our attacks work just fine on it. It also likes to dive into the floor in order to reposition itself. It just hits really hard and it fights in a similar style to you. It's actually a relatively straightforward fight, though that doesn't mean that doesn't make it not difficult. Using arrow will be a big help to you here. Oops. So yeah, as you can see, this is just pretty standard, you know, standard three hit combos. After you deal enough damage to it, eventually it'll begin splitting into copies. However, if you use Scan, you'll be able to determine which one is the real one, as the other ones will have far smaller HP meters. No, we won't. Oh. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Show yourself, you faker! You can strike the clones to get rid of them, which, though they don't have much health, they still hurt a lot. Ow! Get back here! I hit the wall. Somehow Peter Pan has died more than Donald has in this fight. What kind of world are we coming to? Show yourself! Hold still, will ya? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh. Why you little? Ow! Quit slow walking away from me. Stop doing that! That's very humiliating on my part. Ugh. I hate that it can fade in mid-combo, it's really obnoxious. Gotcha! Sora's max HP went up, Peter Pan's max MP went up, and Donald's max AP went up. Obtained a Raven's Claw. <sighs> okay. Found Dalmatians 88, 89, and 90. Okay, so now that that fight's over, let me re-equip some items. And now we need to open up this hatch which we weren't able to do in the middle of the fight. Wendy! Come on, Tink! Not now! Well, this is as far as I can go. I gotta help Wendy. Alright, and with that, Peter Pan takes his departure. Open up this chest. For a protega chain, another save point. See, I'm gonna. No, I need to keep uh, arrow in my shortcuts. Though I will save again. <laughs> okay, now we need to go back to where we just fought Anti Sora and head through the door up there. Darn pirates. Well, we might as well immediately just go back to the safe point and patch ourselves up. So yeah, as you can see, there were like three safe points in very close proximity to each other. I mean, I, I, I think the one in this room is gone now. No, it's still here. All right. Well, that's nice. Okay, so now we're back in the anti-Sora room. We got pirates, of course. What kind of pirate ship doesn't have pirates? One that I would want to be on. Ooh, I got a high potion. Yeah, nice try, pal. I keep banging into all the walls around here. It's, it's not very good. I wanted the power gem. You exploited my weakness for shiny things. No, you know what? You're in timeout, mister. Yeah, that'll do it. I got a lucid shard. All right, let's head out onto the deck. Quite a codfish, that Riku, running off with that girl without even saying goodbye. Run off where? 
Tell me, where did he go? To the ruins of Hollow Bastion, where Maleficent resides. Uh, but you won't be going there. <gasps> Unless you intend to leave your little pixie friend behind. <sighs> Taking a hostage. Very crafty of you, Captain Hook. Hand over the keyblade and I'll spare your lives. Be glad I'm merciful, unlike the heartless. So, which will it be? The keyblade or the plank? It's him, the crocodile that took me hand. Oh, Shmi, he's after the other hand. I can't stay here. Go away. Oh, I can't stand the sight of him. Me, you take care of them. Well, this doesn't bode well for us. Fly, Sora. Just believe, and you can do it. Belief is a powerful thing, is it not? Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? Attain the power of healing. Cure has been upgraded to Cura! Excellent. All right, let's have ourselves a little bit of a swashbuckle. In Neverland, Sora and his friends can fly while jumping. I butchered that. While jumping, press circle to fly, then press circle to rise and square to descend. Flying is basically like uh, swimming, but in the air. Oh, I wasn't even aiming for that tech, but I got it anyway. Take that, you scalawag! Yeah, look at all that HP that Donald just cured on himself. Cure is great. Alright, we got ourselves some new enemies here. These are the Air Pirates. Air Pirates fly to and fro through the sky, and they'll hit you with various punches and kicks. And honestly, that's it. They're very powerful, but they're very straightforward. So, as long as you know, don't get smacked around by them, you'll do absolutely fine. I just almost replenished all of Peter Pan's HP with Cura. It's so good. It's so good to not be replenishing this, like, weak sauce level of HP anymore. Who's next? Ah, that's another new enemy. The Battleship. The Battleship is kind of like a large body, if it could fly, and also had cannons, which is a terrifying thought when, I, when you think about it. You can actually damage the various parts of the battleship in order to reduce its battle capabilities. If you take down its cannons, it won't be able to give you a big old broadside anymore. If you take down the sail, you'll reduce its mobility. If you manage to damage the back, it'll drop a whole bunch of goodies. And if you manage to break off the front, well, it won't be able to charge you anymore. But yeah, it can charge you, it can shoot you with cannonballs, it can do a whole variety of things. Crushing it with gravity is your best bet, though. Hold on, let me try that sentence again. Crushing it with gravity is your best plan of attack. If you can hit it, that is. Is that you, Smee? Did you finish them off? Aye, Captain. They walked the plank. Every last one of them. Ah! Peter Pan! Oh, ready to make us flash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. All right, now it's time for a real pirate fight with good old Captain Cutlery. Where, where is he? There he is. Okay, so Captain Hook is is a bona fide swashbuckler. 
He likes to walk up and then proceed with a vicious array of sword strikes. He also enjoys summoning an endless supply of battleships to assist him, so don't waste your time fighting them. He'll just keep calling them in. Probably due to his nature of uh, having fought Peter Pan for so long, he tends to move around way more when you're flying, so though, although you just acquired the ability to fly, you're going to want to keep yourself grounded for most of this fight. Oh, did you like that, you old codfish? It's actually possible for you to set his pants on fire if you hit him with a fire spell, and it might actually cause him to stop over the ship and plummet into the jaws of the crocodile. Doing so will inflict a little bit of damage and stun him for a moment. Fire won't always work though, but it's really nice when it does. Captain Hook is also capable of tossing a variety of bomb packages at you if you get too far from him, though he won't do this if you stick real nice and close to him, so just do so. Ow! Oh! As you can see, when his health gets low, he'll get far more desperate, but it'll eventually it'll tire him out, so you'll want to play defensive while he does that. That's one of the bomb packages. That was him calling for more uh, battleships. Man, that's a hot wardrobe choice you got there, Captain. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't resist, okay? Ow! I got a present for you too. How about a nice big old drink? <laughs> Wait, did he just swear and they bleeped it out? That's hilarious. I don't remember that part. I just heard like a like a sensor bleep sound. That's hysterical. Sora's defense went up, he learned treasure magnet, Donald's strength and max HP went up, and Peter Pan's defense went up. Donald leveled up twice, nice. Have a nice fall, Captain Hook. Don't forget to write. Sora learned Ars Arcanum. Obtained Ansem's report, nine. Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her. <gasps> Sora, I still can't believe it. It really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. You can bring her to Neverland sometime. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? I'll find Kyrie. I know I will. There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. What's that, Tink? What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. That's a nice view. No, I would like to talk again, please. One of the clock hands is off. Hmm. We open up this chest right over here. On Dalmatians 43, 44, and 45. There's also a save point right up here. Which we're going to use. I 
I just want to take a quick swing around the clock tower. Okay, so which, which face is off? This one is. Okay. And we'll just give it a little gentle nudging. Provided I can even hit the blasted thing. Bingo! And Neverland is safe. Obtained a Navi G piece. Interesting. It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember? Relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A castaway. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. For power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. Now, child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. Okay, so here's like the thing I didn't understand. She just said, if you use the dark powers too much, it'll cost you your heart. So here, have a have a gargantuan amount of dark power. Just like, it, it doesn't add up. But then again, I'm analyzing a children's video game too much, so, eh. Peter, are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so, but we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. Oh boy, she's getting steamed again. Do me a favor. Look after her for me, will ya? What? Oh, uh, sure. Learn summon spell Tinkerbell. Sora obtained the Fairy Harp Keychain. Learn Shared Ability Glide. Man, we're just getting all the prizes today. Okay, so we're gonna equip the Fairy Harp. Raises max MP by one and enhances magic and summon power. Sometimes deals powerful critical blows. And we're also going to equip Shared Ability Glide. While in the air, press the circle button to ride the air currents. Hold down the circle button to remain aloft. 
Of course, it won't work in Neverland because we can fly, and flying is simply better than gliding. Flying's so much fun. Unfortunately, you just don't get to use it very much, which is a shame. Okay, so we're gonna save. And yeah, that was Neverland cleared in just about 40 minutes. Not bad. That's how short the, this world is. So we're gonna go to the gummy ship.